Biscuit, a love story, by Gravanti. Simon Roth stepped from his bakery, a wide smile across his face. Hefting the large package in his arms, he paused for a moment and took in the sights and sounds of his beloved piece of the world. He closed his eyes and felt the warmth of the sun wash over him as birdsong filled his ears. In the distance, the innocent giggling of children playing added their harmony to this divine morning. This was it. He'd spent months perfecting it, getting the exact right mix of ingredients. Two sacks of flour, a gallon of buttermilk, and an entire slab of Amish butter melted and gently basted on as it baked. It was layered so that the scent would emanate as it cooled and fill the market with mouth-watering allure, leading the shoppers by their noses right to his door. A dark shape darted in front of the store window, pausing in front of the giant biscuit, glanced up with a wild grin and locked eyes with the baker. Then the homeless man scooped it up and ran back the way he'd come. Matt, one of the baker's hired hands, asked, Simon, what are you going to do? Simon's fists clenched and unclenched. The man had stolen his treasure, his masterpiece. How dare he? Simon reached up and undid the tie on his apron with a quick pull, undoing it and sliding it off in one motion. Slamming it down on the counter, he looked at the faces in the waiting line as he came around from the back. They cheered him on. Get him! Teach him a lesson! Good for nothing! Bum! He emerged from his office in the late afternoon, unshaven, eyes and palms red, still smiling his demented smile, revenge on his mind. He needed help and he knew just the person to do so. Her name was Kumin Larat, an ancient Asian woman who had space in the back of a shop in Chinatown. Simon glanced from the old woman to the boy, his purpose for coming surfacing. Images of the men and his biscuit flashed through his mind. He clenched his jaw, lips wrinkling together as he forced the words from his mouth. I'm in need of some special ingredients. I need... He paused, holding his breath uncertain. He stared into the eyes of the old woman, her small, dark pupils studying him. Uh, poison, Simon finally let out. The old woman leaned forward, her face just inches from his. She wore a wide grin, revealing many missing teeth. Her other hand contained the jar, now full of a white, creamy mixture that looked like spoiled milk. She handed it to the boy as she squeezed Simon's hand and spoke two words. Gully worms! 